Carlton. I'm running for House Seat 15, and we just finished, uh, testified at the uh, judicial hearing. Uh, they are reforming the, the Judicial Merit Selection Commission. Uh, a lot of great things are going to be happening. Uh, term limits, uh, two, two, two year terms for Judicial Merit Selection Commission. That means the Judicial Merit Selection Commission can no longer have influence on selecting judges or judges having relationships with people that are on that commission. So I think it's going to be a good thing for the state. We'll be able to impeach judges, uh, hold them more accountable. Uh, that's something that I've been wanting. Uh, I had a nightmare for myself being in the Judicial Merit Selection Commission hearing concerning a judge in 2021. And that's just the beginning. And if I'm elected to District 15, I'm also going to implement jury trials uh, for family court. We have the 14th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution that states, uh, well, we have a Supreme Court case law uh, concerning when you take away someone's child, it's worse than taking away their property or seizing their property. So the 14th Amendment kicks in, and when that happens, that means that person has a right to have a jury decide if the government or someone should take their property. So, and most people value their child more than they value their uh, property, or at least I would say a child is way more valuable. So we have the state, Texas already has jury trials for child custody. So South Carolina, I'm gonna implement that. On day one, I'm gonna put this bill in. The second thing is the Sixth Amendment of the Constitution. And we have over at the building over there on the right, the South Carolina Supreme Court case law from 2011, DeMarco versus DeMarco, and the Supreme Court said that the family court is violating the Sixth Amendment of the Constitution in our state. The Sixth Amendment is your right to a jury if you have jail time involved. If you go behind bars, you can have, you're entitled to have a jury. If the possibility is you're going to be behind bars, treated like a criminal, then you have the right to ask for a jury to decide whether or not you should go to jail. Now, we're going to codify DeMarco versus DeMarco. So we got the 14th Amendment jury trials for child custody, 14, or the 6th Amendment jury trials for if you can go to jail for anything in family court. And then the last thing is the 7th Amendment of the Constitution. That is, you have the right to a jury trial for any amount over $20. Now. Our neighbor state, Georgia, already has jury trials for family court, for uh, child support, for alimony, or legal fees that you have to pay your ex's lawyer. Now, the reason you want a jury is because you take out the favoritism and the nepotism in family court judges' decisions. They will no longer be able to decide uh, based on they golf with some lawyer and side with that uh, lawyer's uh, case. and. For all the new lawyers coming out of law school, a jury trial is the only way for you to make a name for yourself. Because right now, if you're coming out of law school and you're going into this family court system, you're going to find real quick, you had all the facts and all the information in favor for your client, and all of a sudden the judge ruled in favor of this lawyer that's been there for 30 years. And then you find out they know each other personally. And that is not fair. The only way to break up that favoritism and nepotism in courts is to have a jury because the jury does not care about the relationship and when you have a jury you take away the power from the judge and the judge is only a referee for the rules and not a decision maker that is how and and the children of South Carolina deserve jury trials and and we had multiple parents here today that I heard all their stories and I cannot wait to represent district 15 not only will I represent District 15, but I'll represent all the mothers and fathers and children in this state who have been wronged by the family court system in South Carolina. And I ask, this November 5th, 2024, put me in, Coach, and vote Carlton Walker. Go to votecarltonwalker.com, and that's all I have to say. And this is going to be an uphill fight, but as a fourth-generation veteran, I put my life on the line to defend the Constitution. And I will be damned if I'm going to have a state that has a kangaroo court not upholding the Constitution of the United States. And for all my military veteran friends who gave it all and gave their life defending the Constitution, 
And for the ones that made it through, I will fix it. And thank you.